May morning, suddenly, I stopped and I had the feeling everything had changed. The wood was beautiful, beautiful green, and I had the feeling that I saw now the wood as it really is. And I had the feeling I would be included by it. I had a feeling of happiness I had never had before. And this gave me the security that if you have open eyes, you may see the world in a different way. As a, I, I mean in the, you see it as it really is. Wonderful. I'm 
trying. Oh, it's just like, like you're relieved or you're free or... Yes, what should I say? Can't you see it? No, I can't quite see it. Tell me about it. I don't know how I can tell you. I can't tell you about it. If you can't see it, then you'll just never know it.
Sometimes each person like Christ, you have to spend your 40 days in the wilderness. Now everything is fast. We can't even spend four hours there. Look and see what it is that's burning for you. What it is that's burning, burning. And not run. Don't hide under the bed. Here you say, okay, come. Let me see what it is. Because if I don't take the opportunity to look at what it is, I may be frightened for the rest of my life. And then at a certain point when you've seen it, then you can begin to ignore it. Because you've seen what it is. You know who is knocking at the door.
is an act of surrender to another person. Total abandonment. I give myself. Take me. Do anything you like. So, that's quite mad. Because you see, it's letting things get out of control. All sensible people keep things in control. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Security, vigilance. Watch it, police, watch it, guards, watch it. Who's gonna watch the guards? <laughs> Therefore, the, the, the course of wisdom, what is really sensible, uh, is to let go, uh, is to commit oneself, to give oneself up, and that's quite mad. So we come to the strange conclusion that in madness lies sanity.